So what's going on guys, it's JM, it's Beatboxing. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel before you click on any of my videos. I apologise for my voice, I've got a bit of a sore throat and cold in that at the minute. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions in what I'm saying in any of my videos. Like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a sub or two on my channel. So Callum Smith will finally fight for the WBC super middleweight title when he faces the guy behind him, no homo, in the WBC, Anthony Durrell. On September the 9th in Los Angeles in the United States, Callum Smith signed for that fight and now it's on for September the 9th. And this is a very good fight, it's a very big test for Callum Smith, he's finally stepping up and he's against a tough operator in Anthony Durrell. He's been waiting for his shot at the title for almost a year, he was meant to face the winner of Jack DeGale but obviously that fight ended up in a draw and Badu Jack immediately vacated his WBC title after that so now the number one and number two in the division will square off which is only right in my opinion and Anthony Durrell is the brother of Andre Durrell the guy who fought Carl Froch in Nottingham in 2009 who lost a very controversial points decision to Carl Froch and then he fought James DeGale in 2014 but lost narrowly on points to James DeGale after being knocked down in the second round Anthony Durrell on the other hand is a bigger puncher than his brother I think he's got something like 25 knockouts in 30 fights only has the one defeat to Badu Jack he has one draw as well he fought Saki Obiko for the world title the first fight ended in a draw and then he managed to defeat him in their rematch and he's a good fighter oh, Anthony Durrell he's had a very stop start career though like when he first started off as a pro he was diagnosed with cancer he had Hodgkin's lymphoma and then after he got all of that sorted out and he got his health back on track he was out of the ring for almost two years again because he had a motorbike accident and he is a very rugged fighter um, Anthony Durrell but in my opinion I think if you put too much pressure on Anthony Durrell he doesn't seem to like it he has a very low guard and stuff like that he can be flat footed don't get me wrong, he's got very quick hands, Anthony Durrell, but he's got very flat feet. And we saw that when he fought Badu Jack in 2015. Like All Badu Jack really did was put a bit of pressure on him, just was more aggressive, putting him on the ropes, landing the combinations and stuff like that, getting up on the inside. And that's what got him the victory over Anthony Durrell. It was just too much for him. And Cameron Smith is a very good fighter. He likes to come forward. He likes to put pressure on his guys and also he hits very hard. So that could be a problem for Anthony Durrell. But Anthony Durrell does pop as well. He can throw counter punches as well, Anthony Durrell. And that should be something Callum Smith should be looking out for in that fight. So, in my opinion, this is a very tough fight for both guys. And it'll be interesting to see who can prevail. But I'm happy that Callum Smith has finally got his shot. I've been hearing rumours all week that Callum Smith wasn't going to fight for the WBC title, that he was going to fight James DeGale instead for the IBF title, but apparently that fight came to no tuition, and now obviously Callum Smith has signed for the fight against Anthony Durrell, so comment below in the comment section on what you guys think of this, do you like this fight, would you have rather Callum Smith fought James DeGale, so yeah comment below in the comment section, it's